Bitcoin is still bouncing in this very important range. And while this is happening, the US government will sell 1.2 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin coming this year. So make sure to watch this video till the end because I will be exactly explain what's currently going on. I will talk about the Bitcoin price section, the monthly candle close, the Bitcoin historical monthly returns of the month of April and much more important stuff. So don't forget to slap up the like button. Can we once again smash it back above 600? That will be absolutely incredible. With that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. And once looking at the imminent short term, we can actually see that Bitcoin is currently still trading, of course, in this range. On the one hour time frame, I don't really think there's all something too clear to tell about the market right now here. But if I really will be looking at the four hourly time frame, you can clearly see I will be flipping bullish. I've said this several times before. Once Bitcoin breaks above this level right here, as long as that is not happening, I will be expecting that Bitcoin is actually going to come towards the lower side and like i said also many times before once bitcoin breaks below the lower side of support that is the point where i will be turning bearish on bitcoin but until that point until we're still consolidating in the middle of this range i will be very neutral on bitcoin and i will just wait for a confirmation if i will be looking at the strength it does make a lot of sense to actually short the top side for bitcoin and currently i have opened a small little short position on bitcoin it's right now like only 100 dollars in profit but what i'm planning to do with this trade right here is basically to trade bitcoin from the top side back towards the lower side and once we come lower i will be trying to catch of course a long position to see the next bounce for bitcoin so basically what i'm doing i'm doing some scalp trades and currently i have opened this trade to trade the exact range for bitcoin because if i am looking at that four early time frame if i'm really going to be looking on how bitcoin really moved through all the ranges in the past wall here you can see that none of the times bitcoin managed to break above the high due to retesting it a couple times in a row no bitcoin only broke through these levels and let me say this correctly once we were having that retest a couple well after we retested that level and the time we broke above this level like you can see right here was on the exponential recovery run-up here as well on the exponential recovery run-up and why wouldn't something similar happen right now here i honestly think and i wouldn't be surprised if bitcoin sees a small rejection towards this level right here and if that happens i will be most certainly open up big long positions on the lower side right here but currently looking at bitcoin I think it makes a lot of sense to be a little bit more cautious right now here. Why is maybe also due to the fact that the US government plans to sell its 41,000 Bitcoins, what is worth an approximately 1.2 billion US dollars. And if you may wonder, okay, uh, but how does it look like on the chart? I personally think the moment, of course, we don't have an exact timing and I can't find the exact address of this sell order. But it looks to be that, of course, it was sold on this movement right here. And probably this was what created the gigantic sell pressure towards the downside. And be aware, they're going to sell off another 1.2 billion US dollars. What probably means that there will be a lot of sell pressure getting added towards the market. And that is definitely a very important thing to pay attention towards. And currently they have said that the US government is planning to sell all its remaining Bitcoin in the year 2023. So we could be expecting another 1 billion US dollars in sell pressure hitting the markets. And that is definitely a very big warning signal for all the Bitcoin holders and traders out there. Currently, of course, it doesn't necessarily make me bearish for Bitcoin on the long trend because while well, this news got out here, literally the thing that happened with Bitcoin, and let me show you this exactly, was a move down of an approximately one to $200 yesterday, somewhere around this region right here. So the news is not really affecting the price action of Bitcoin all too shabby right now on the imminent short. So that is definitely a very good thing here. And I want to be pointing out on the bigger trend bitcoin is still clearly trading in an uptrend and that is why i should definitely say that you should be bullish on bitcoin on the bigger perspective currently we are trading at a very important level of resistance and if we confirm the break above this level i will be most certainly be bullish but just from pure experience i don't really think it's necessarily going to be likely to straight away break through this level you can also see that if we were breaking below it, we were also not straight away breaking through it on the first attempt or on the second or third attempt. No, first we had a bounce and then we saw a big drop through the level. And I think it's going to be similar to here. First, a small dump here and then a straight movement through the candle. A very quick movement. Currently, we are still consolidating at this level, but I personally think... 
it's going to be likely to first see a cool period happening before potentially seeing that next big move happening for Bitcoin. Maybe it doesn't happen. And if it doesn't happen and we confirm the break above it, I'm only going to be more excited for Bitcoin in the end of the day here. Furthermore, if I am going to be looking at the monthly returns for Bitcoin, we can currently see we had the first three months of this year were extremely good for Bitcoin. We saw positive price action. We saw green months, basically. And if I'm going to look at April, it looks to be that April usually tends to be a more bearish month than a bullish month for Bitcoin. So let's see what is going to be happening. Be aware we've been seeing three uh, green months in a row here. And let's see if it's going to be a fourth one. That will be, of course, absolutely amazing. Of course, Bitcoin has been rising significantly in the last period. But in my opinion, you should always be careful. And I mean, right now we're running in towards this critical level of resistance. So that is why we'll be approaching this trading opportunity. Like, okay, if we break above it, I'm going to go long. But currently I am short because I think the more likely a scenario is that we're actually going to see that retracement towards the downside happening, right? So currently that is why I'm in this short position. If you want to be trading yourself, don't forget to check out the links in the description. You can trade on Bybit. And if you sign up an account, we're using the link in the description. You can claim a deposit bonus up to 30,000 US dollars. And more importantly, I also still have got a long order set up on $25,000 that you can right now see here. 25K and $56 is exactly my entry price for my next trade for Bitcoin. That is the trade that I'm looking to take. That's the trade that will be definitely most certainly my most important trade to look at because that will be the retest of this very important level right here. Furthermore, we can see that still the three-day time frame have not confirmed the break above this level and we are currently creating a three-day time frame bearish divergence on the price action of bitcoin very important to pay attention towards right now here and the question really is when are we going to break above it here and this bearish divergence while running into resistance just give me a feeling that there could be a bigger pullback for bitcoin right now here just purely looking at the market structure for bitcoin if we do break above it like i said several times before i'm going to be very excited but this is just purely market analysis and looking right now at the market analysis I just don't really think we should be all too excited about the price action of Bitcoin right now. On the monthly time frame, we did confirm the breakout of this insane monthly downtrend. And that is a very good thing for Bitcoin. It's signaling that the bigger picture is turning even more bullish for Bitcoin. So that is exciting here. But for the imminent short term, I would be very careful with trading Bitcoin long right now here. And I will be very patient since we are right now trading at the top side of the range. And longing Bitcoin on the top side of a range is never a smart idea if you would ask me here. So that was it for me on today's update video. This is my trade that I'm currently taking here. I truly hope you did learn something from of this video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.